Nola Gent here at the Bullpen Grill. Great stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we are on a travel search for best burger options in Mississippi. Visiting Bullpen Grill to sample some good burger options. Bullpen Grill is located in Mize, Mississippi at 508 Highway 28 West. This is a small little spot in a rural area that would be easy to miss if you didn't know it was there. And it is very popular with locals. You are invited to eat with me a cheeseburger as our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best burger restaurants. And this food vlog will show you how we enjoy our burger restaurant experiences. So we will eat with me hamburger perfection. So let's get started with a hamburger eat with me on our travel vlog. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So as we walk in, you can see this is a small little one room joint, but they've got quite a few tables packed in here. So they can accommodate quite a few folks. They've got lots of fun little decorations on the wall and they do have some local history and some interesting goings on in the area. So uh, you can tell it does quickly get crowded in here and they can accommodate quite a few folks in here at one time, but let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have appetizers with fried mushrooms, mozzarella sticks, sampler plate, and burgers with hamburger, double hamburger, cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, bacon burger, bacon cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger, then signature burgers served with a side of fries, ramen burger, bushwhacker burger, taking care of business burger, the big cheeseburger, then sandwiches with chicken sandwich, BLT, grilled cheese, ham sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, and then we have plates with hamburger steak with onions and gravy, and you can add a salad, and then chicken strip basket, then salads with a side salad, a chicken salad, and a cob salad, and then sides with french fries, curly fries, tater tots, onion rings. Then we have drinks with Coke, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, root beer, sweet tea, and unsweet tea, and you get a 16 ounce, a 32 ounce, and a kids. Then homemade desserts, made fresh daily. Then we have a menu board with a more detailed description of their specialty burgers with the Brahmin burger, double meat, cheese, mayo, mustard, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, onion, house dressing, onion rings, and bacon. Then we have the Bushwhacker, single meat, cheese, mayo, mustard, pickle, onion, jalapenos, chili, taking care of business, single meat, mayo, lettuce, onions, roast beef, gravy. The big cheese, pepper jack, grilled cheese for the buns, single meat, mayo, ranch, bacon, onions, jalapenos, American cheese, bodacious, single meat, lettuce, tomato, cheese, tater tots, fried egg, mayo. So I put my order in and they started cooking it up in the back and there were some nice smells going on and then the food came out. My dining companion got a fried chicken salad and then I got a double cheeseburger with curly fries. Now I ordered it dressed with mustard, but um, it only had some pickles and I didn't get any lettuce or tomatoes. So maybe since this isn't New Orleans, they didn't really understand what dressed meant is all I can assume. So I was hoping for some lettuce and tomato, but I didn't get that on there. But the uh, burger first bite, there's some decent flavors. Um, the meat is a little on the overcooked side, so I'm not getting any real good juiciness out of the actual beef, unfortunately. I think uh, they overcooked it just a little bit. If they would have taken it off the grill a little sooner, I think it'd have a little more juicy, delicious meat flavor going on here. This is certainly a much better burger than you get at McDonald's. It could be a bit better with the juiciness and a little less cooking, though, I believe. And so the uh, cheese is uh, not quite ooey gooey melted the way I like, but it is almost there. So you see you get a pretty good thick piece of two meat patties there with the double cheeseburger. So it is a decent amount of food. I got to drink down a little of my iced tea to chase down the burger because it's uh, definitely on the drier side and kind of uh, sticking a little bit in my throat as I swallow it. So the uh, tea kind of helps chase it down. Now the uh, burger structural integrity is fantastic. Everything's holding together very well. The bun meat ratio is 
pretty perfect as well. So they've got really great marks for structural integrity and the overall meat to bun proportion. I think I might even have a little bit more meat than bun, and that's just the way I like it. So if I simply could have gotten a little less cook time on the meat and had a little more juiciness, I would really be enjoying this. So this is overall still a pretty good burger. I just uh, definitely would have liked my lettuce and tomato on it as well and some maybe grilled onions to really pick it up a little more. So their specialty burgers can certainly be interesting to try out, but they're just plain old regular double cheeseburger certainly is getting the job done. And it is a very filling large burger overall for what it is. And uh, the experience is pretty darn good overall. So I'm quickly taking it down and it's been pretty easy to complete completely destroy this thing in no time flat. So it was uh, ultimately pretty easy to eat, I'd have to say. So I've got my last little bite here. Let's see what I can do. And oh, oh I totally destroyed that burger pretty fast. Now these curly fries. I haven't had curly fries in a long time. The last time I had them, it was at uh, Arby's. And I haven't been to Arby's in quite a few years. Okay, so these are very similar to Arby's curly fries. And uh, doesn't have quite the spice level I think the Arby fries have, but overall it's very similar. All right, I've got my last fry left. Let's see if I can take it down. Here we go. Ooh, I don't know. This might be a two bite fry. Is it going to be a one bite or two bite fry? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's all gone. So now, just like I totally destroyed this plate of food, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. And while you're down there, I really would appreciate it if you'd check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and it really does help me and I really do appreciate it. So thanks so much to everybody at Bullpen Grill for a really fantastic experience and the burger overall was pretty good, but I think it could have been way better if the meat was cooked just a little bit less, which would have made it way more juicy, flavorful, and wonderful. And uh, I don't know, maybe like a card where you check off all the toppings that you want could have uh, helped with the order process. And then I could have gotten my lettuce and tomato that I kind of was craving. The meat bun ratio was about as perfect as possible. And uh, so many other restaurants seem to not fare so well with that. It has to be a pretty challenging thing to get your meat and bun to match up. I don't know why that seems to be such a challenging thing, but this place has nailed it. So, great job with that bullpen grill for achieving pretty much close to perfection as anybody making a burger can. And that is uh, so much heads and above so many other places that get it, on average, less meat and more bun, which, ooh, that just uh, rubs me the wrong way. I always want more meat. And of course, thanks so much to all of you out there watching the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if y'all could just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me and I certainly do appreciate it. Just make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.